What is up everyone? My name is Chris Sean. I want to welcome everyone to the life of a web developer, Dev's Life. And today, what I want to talk about is how do you decide on which coding school or boot camp to attend? Because there's so many out there, right? I will talk about that in today's video. Check it out. Carefully, uh, now this is becoming an increasingly very important question um, that many people are now asking. And the main reason is because there are honestly so many new boot camps opening up all around the US, um, potentially the world. I've never looked outside the US because I don't live outside of the US. Um, and I think it's an important question to ask because with so many boot camps coming up, then which one do I choose from? All of them have different prices. There are some boot camps that are much cheaper than others. Is it because the quality of the class is not as good as others? Um, do I need to quit my full-time job just to learn code and still not have 100% chance knowing that I still might not get hired? Should I still go for that? And so this is why I really want to talk about this today because, uh, you know, a boot camp, just like learning code, is such... It's, it can make a drastic difference in your life. You could go to a three month course boot camp, a six month course boot camp, a 12 month course boot camp. There are boot camps out there where you could attend for two years and learn a bunch of languages out there, but still in the end, does that guarantee you to get a job? Um, that is why I think when it comes to boot camps, it's very important that you find the best one out there for you. Maybe there's one near you. Maybe there's an online boot camp out there that can help you. And so what I did is that I did some research online and I, I just pretty much thought of my own list as well um, on things on boot camps and what do you need to look out for to make sure that you choose the right place, the right boot camp if anyone out there is deciding to go. So let's talk about this right now. I think number one, when it comes to looking for a boot camp, number one thing you have to look for, or one of the first things is, you know, what is the intention of the co-founders? Of course, you know, even schools are there to help you, Peter, or colleges out there that, that are there to help you, but even when it comes to a four-year college, four-year colleges are still there because they want to make money off you. That's the reason they also raise up the prices so high. Um, the reason books cost so much, uh, because they make so much money off of you, right? So then, so then the question then is, right, what about a boot camp? Is a boot camp there to make money off of you? Let's face the fact, yes, all boot camps are there to make money off you. All uh, t Team Treehouse is there to make money off you. Udemy is there to make money off you. But what you need to look for when it comes to looking for a school, when it comes to looking for a coding uh, boot camp, is a, the bigger question then is what is the intention be behind not just the instructors but even the founders itself. That's when it becomes very important to use Google and then research them to check if they're really worth it. Uh, the founder of that company, of that coding camp, of that boot camp, is it pure intention? Are they really there out to help you? Are they there to milk you for every dollar you get and then say goodbye to you and say good luck in getting a job? Right? Am I better off at Team Treehouse or Udacity or Udemy or am I better off at learning at an actual boot camp? And I think this is very important to learn and that's why what I would do is check out the social media, check out the Twitter, check out the Instagram, check out if the intentions are really that pure. You know, check out stories, check out YouTube, check out everything on Google about them. And why? Because if you're going to go to a boot camp and invest this amount of money into your own life, you have to make sure you're investing in the right thing. There are some boot camps that actually charge less. There are boot camps that do charge a lot. I mean, I mean a lot. But in the end, it's not about who's gonna charge you the most, but really who's gonna give you the best for your buck. Okay, let's go to number two. Uh, number two. Now, one person said this, okay, when I looked online, said, how many senior and junior instructors are on staff compared to the number of students? Meaning, is the ratio between students and teachers really, really large? Are there like, three instructors and then there's only, let's say, and let's say there's 200 students. And how is that instructor going to help everyone else out there? Right? Or are you going to a boot camp where the ratio to instructor, instructor is fairly small and that the owners of that actual company, that boot camp, are investing even in that much, are investing that much more in the students, meaning they're paying teachers more money and the company or the founders are making less, but they're willing to do that because they want to put in more time. They want their instructors to be able to, to divide their time even that much more when it comes to actual students, right? Number three. So now let's go to number three. Number three. How long has the boot camp been in existence? Very good question. So how long has a boot camp been in existence, refining a curriculum, take some time and experience? And I think this is a very important question. Now, if the boot camp has only been around for one year, they better be not charging a lot. 
right? Why? Because even teachers in general, when, when I remember when I went to school, I had a teacher who's been an instructor for like 20 years and he was amazing because of all the experience he's gained in teaching and learning himself. Compared to a brand new teacher who recently graduated from college, who really has no experience in teaching whatsoever, uh, what do students usually think? They could take advantage of them in high school, right? And so I think the same thing comes with coding boot camps, where there are boot camps who've been around for one year, maybe I'll watch out for them, but there's a boot camp that's been around for two or three years where they've been able to refine their courses, where they've been able to really uh, refine the curriculum. I think those are one of the boot camps you really want to look out for to have much more experience. Just have been able to refine the curriculum to help you as best as they can. Okay, so this one goes out to number four. Number four says this, does the boot camp care for the students? Uh, meaning, how much effort are they actually putting to make sure that each student does well? Where it's not just about graduating student where it's not just about helping the student get a certificate a piece of paper that costs ten thousand twenty thousand dollars just so they could get a job or are they really putting an effort not just even during the process while they learn code but are the instructors or is the is you know the founders putting even that much more time to help them get a job after they graduate are they making sure that they're really job ready or are they just letting students drag along behind um, you know, just barely passing each course and barely making it to the end. Or are they actually putting that effort to help you? Next, what languages is that bootcamp focusing on? You know, um, is there a reason that they're moving, they're staying in Angular 1? Is it because it's a lot of legacy code? Are they moving on to Angular 2 only because it's a new language? Or are they staying with Angular because they know and they believe from their own wisdom experience that Angular is still popular and Angular is actually more popular than Angular 2 because so many people have used Angular to build their websites. Does that make sense? Are they teaching PHP 7 just because it's new or are they teaching PHP 6? Because PHP 6 has a lot of legacy code and is still very popular. Right, um, or are they teaching new languages? For example, are they te teaching ES6? Or if there's ES7, 8, 9, 10, 11? Because they know that that's up and coming and that's something that you need to focus on, you need to learn, right? And so I think it's very important to look at the technologies of learning and even compare that to the area too. For example, if there's a school teaching uh, say Python, but your area or the tech companies around your area are really focusing on C Sharp or PHP, then maybe you need to look at a different boot camp that will teach you the languages you need to really blow up in your area. Uh, for example, you know, what I really want to learn right now is, now I'm learning PHP right now in my SQL, I'm actually working with it now, but what I really want to learn, what I really want to learn next is Ruby and Ruby on Rails, mainly because, you know, even though it's not as popular as it, it was, and you know, I have said in the past that it's dying, it is still a fairly popular language, and just to have that skill set within your arsenal can help you that much more in getting a job in the future, and having a secure job, and becoming that much more valuable in your company, because let's face it, the same way PHP has a lot of legacy code, um, even, you know, um, Ruby and Ruby on Rails especially has been used so much in the past that a lot of people still use it. A lot of people actually do not know but I believe Stack Overflow is built off Ruby on Rails. <laughs> so Ruby on Rails is still fairly popular although it's not marketed as much as it used to. Okay let's go to the next one. What is the environment like for students on a daily basis? Right? What does a typical day look like? Are the students, do they feel satisfied with the courses? Do they feel like they've learned enough to actually help them get a job? Do they feel like the mentors really helped them get a job? Are there any stories or testimonies from students from that actual company that seem legitimate and that are actually real and help them change their life? Um, and I think that's something that every company should do. Um, Team Treehouse does this. But again, you know, Team Treehouse has made so many videos and sometimes you can't really trust their stories. Uh, again, and you know what, I went to Treehouse and I got a job in three months. That doesn't usually happen. I emailed Treehouse and I was like, hey, you guys should share my story. You guys should really share with the whole world how I got a job in three months because of you guys, they never responded to me. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> so I think it's very important to look for this stuff when it comes to coding bootcamp as well. But alright guys, so I have I know this is a lot, there's a lot of content on here, this isn't a regular vlog, um, I wanted to do a live video today, but um, you know what, I wanted to keep those for Tuesday, Thursday, I didn't do a live video on Tuesday, so I want to stick to my schedule doing it Tuesday, Thursdays only, so I'll do a live video tomorrow, I just wanted to do this quick edit in regards to what kind of boot camps you could look for, of course this is a very short summary of things you can look for, um, I think last but not least is like look at coursereport.com, check out the boot camps on there, students are allowed to leave reviews on there, and coursereport.com I believe what they do is they make sure they themselves 
also review the reviews to make sure that each review is legitimate as well. And so, I look forward to this. And by the way, um, special note. Um, I'm actually do what I'm doing is I'm actually contacting boot camps and I've actually been doing this for a while to be honest I've actually contacted Dev Mountain. They never got back to me um, Which I'm glad they didn't get back to me because I looked at the people they're sponsoring and I honestly wouldn't want to be Affiliated with them. I wouldn't want to be branded with them because the people that Dev Mountain is sponsoring are people I do not want to be branded with I want to build my own pure genuine brand on my own and so uh you know if there are any boot camps out there that want to give me access to their boot camps for free where i could give an honest review on their courses i think that would be great or you know i don't necessarily need the boot camp um i already am a developer i'm already have that you know, i'm already able and disciplined enough to teach myself code and i believe i could teach myself anything now and so if there are any boot camps out there who are listening who want to go ahead and give me access to your course maybe it is an online boot camp maybe it is a boot camp here in california i could attend um, casually attend and to check out your courses um, let me know and I would just love to be able to go through them because I just want to give the subscribers the best content they could possibly receive and find the best schools or best you know resources they could they can get in order to become the programmer they want to be but all right guys that is it thank you for watching the video uh, I know this isn't like my normal vlog or anything but I will start vlogging after this and after I edit and upload this tonight so thank you everyone for watching this is Krishan this is the life of a web developer and I'm out thank you for watching guys bye